people are going to want to know this but this is an 87 Ford Bronco 2 that we're working on Bronco 2 uh, it has two fuel pumps one in the tank one on the frame the, the one in the tank is a low pressure and the one on the frame which this is uh, like so and it's inside the frame in front of the door but before the frame goes up to the engine uh, it has two bolts on the bottom that goes through the frame. All you can see is these two bolts and this wrap. So you got to take these two bolts and then peel this thing out. This is the part that goes toward the tank and this goes toward the engine. Then you have a, a plug-in right here for electricity. And then uh, this is a, a metric 8 millimeter quarter inch. We just don't have a ratchet right here. These were 13s. These were 13, in, 13 millimeter. Had to be done. What's that? Fuel pumps in the house. Okay. So that comes off. And then we have this in a rubber. It probably slides out that way. Probably. We we'll probably have to open it up. And this comes out here. Like so. And then this opens up like so. And then we got to disconnect this. It probably has nuts underneath this to get a screwdriver and pry that back. That allows it to have this plug in here. There you go. all the way around and plug in that's I think the same one okay so are they marked which one goes where yeah they're red and black and then on here is gonna be somewhere in here is gonna be a positive and negative we need to make sure we'll, we'll come back one was negative and which one was positive. If you look on the new one, it has negative here and positive right there on that incline coming down to the flat area. Now, again, you can realize that there's a difference here. These are spade clips, which the negative is the smaller spade clip and the positive is the larger spade clip. But we have, what they sold us was one with a bigger ball the round clips here and they give us a way to adapt that so we may just go ahead and do that and uh, get rid of the spade clips anyway because it'd probably be tighter if we don't have the spade clips so now to do that <clears throat> we'll be doing this that one is smaller you can't really mess up the positive on this one is smaller. So what we're going to do is crimp, cut this wire, put it on that, and crimp this wire on that. And then we're good to go. We won't have all this insulation. Well, we, and technically we could slide this insulation back and then slide over it, but we're probably not going to do that. 
but that's what you got you got you're up against is you got to crimp this cut this wire strip it a little bit and then crimp it inside there and then you, you can't mess up on which one goes where and then your black is your negative and your red is your positive All right. <laughs> we didn't find my regular crimpers but these are crimp, uh, needle nose with the crimpers in it right here it'll push this down and crimps it so we're doing is we're pushing down from the top and crimping it okay. and do the same thing with this one smash it down on it that one didn't do very good I crimped hard on that, but I'll crimp harder. Maybe it's the thing itself. Guess what, Carl? So the journey of crimping these things on real good and solid, then putting the nuts on, which you can't mess up. One's larger than the other. Tighten those up. Then we put this nozzle on, which we just took out a plastic cap out of there and put this on, which came with the kit. And uh, now we're ready to... Put it back on the plate. Put it back on here. See if we had to squeeze it together a little bit. You can tell it's still not squeezed. Still not squeezed enough, huh? Yeah. Good to eight millimeter. Where'd they put that one? Eight millimeter. So that clip got a high pressure clip that goes here. Again, this sits up inside the frame, and this heads toward the motor, and this goes back to the tank. Should be good to go. There's a warning label there for you guys if you can read it. Let's see what it says. Don't do this unless warning, you're a professional. Pressurized system. That's what it says. Don't do this yourself. Pay $175 an man. hour. Warning, pressurized system, C service manual. I don't think we have that anymore. Service manual? Yeah. After 31 years, or however long it's been. All right. There you Do go. The so when I asked Clay which way was to the motor, he told me wrong as far as he can tell. So <laughs> I did not take it off. He did. Now he's thinking that it goes the other way. We'll have to let you know if it's not. Okay, so the longer side comes out underneath this shield. The shorter side, which goes back toward the pump, is got no big metal piece over it like this one does. This goes to the back, this one goes to the front. There you go, we're gonna put it back in. Bolts go in the frame right through here and you have uh, nuts that hold it there and you're done. You gotta snap the high pressure clips on. Which is a 90. And you gotta here. put this electric on. Yeah. It won't run without that. There you go guys. That's what I learned.